What's up, my daddies and dads? It's the one and only, the one that's loving you, the one and only Gamers Choice Gamers Champion, DDW. And I'm bringing you a gameplay with commentary. I mean, um, this is a dome and we're doing domination. Uh, I got a P90. This is one of the first rounds I actually did that much when I was playing uh, this game. Um, as always, getting killed from the side, from the back. I'm actually giving you a very special gameplay with commentary this time. I'm actually doing it with my clan, the Dark Forces. Uh, I know you don't really see them too much in, one, in my videos, so I thought I'd give you one where they're actually featured in there. Uh, I'm playing with Enjoy, Big Juicy, uh, a couple other people. You'll see their names. Uh, show them some love, because a lot of them actually you know, submit a lot of content to the Dark Forces Productions channel. Which I'm gonna put a link in the description Heads below, uh, too, so you can actually, you know, catch some more videos for these guys. Um, so uh, it's gonna be a pretty long video, uh, domination, so it's gonna take a while. Uh, boom, I die with the fire. Uh, you know, I got things for exploding on me, exploding garbage cans and all that stuff. Biscuit bomb camping as always, right there. Um, so yeah, I got I got a lot of things in my mind that you know, it's, just, it's gonna be an 11 minute video. Uh, which I hate, I really do hate long videos, but since it is a long one, I thought maybe, you know, we could talk a little bit, you know, have a little heart to heart, you know, become a little, a little closer, you know, get a little closer, make a little love tonight, you know, um, so yeah, uh, one of the things I want to talk about is, uh, let, let's talk about love, I mean, yeah, not, not sex, not sex, let's not talk about sex, baby, let's not talk about you and me, let's talk about love, right, um, Come on, enjoy. Don't jump in my way here, bro. So, yeah, I mean, um, a lot of you guys that uh, follow me or gamer tag picks or you know uh, follow me on, on uh, Facebook and stuff like that, you you saw the article I posted about finding uh, the right one for you and being a gamer and you know finding a gamer girl and a girl that shares your interests and stuff like that and how it's hard these days. I really did just spawn and die. Um, so yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, Dark, uh, did you really mean that? Or I understand where you're going, you know, what you're going through. And, you know, finding somebody that share your common interests. I just want to elaborate for you guys, all right? You know, it, look, it, when, when it comes down to finding a gamer girlfriend, it's extremely hard, all right? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that it's extremely hard. The reason why I, I feel that I relate better to gamer girls and other ones, pistol, get pistol, get pistol, get pistol. Pist oh. The reason why I uh, find that it's good to relate to gamer girls because it's like, you know, all these girls out there, they complain, oh, I can't find a man that wants to take me to the ballet or, you know, actually shares a love with Shakespeare the way I do. I, I love Shakespeare, first of all, but I'm using it as an example. Um, it's the same thing with me, okay, and with a lot of guys. Just because we're guys and we're assholes, and most guys are assholes, don't mean we don't have feelings, okay? And let's be honest, guys, we are all assholes. Come on now. In one way, shape, or form, or another, we are. But it doesn't mean we don't have feelings, okay? We do have feelings. I mean, you know, we're, we're human beings. And the same way girls want to find somebody that shares their interests and that they could connect to on that, that mutual, you know, uh, level, is the same way the, you know, guys want to. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a girl that will sit down, whether or not a guy's a gamer, okay? Who doesn't want a girl that's going to sit down and watch football with them? Or watch basketball with them, or you know, uh, go to the movies with them, or, or they can sit down and read an action, you know, uh, uh, action comic book or whatever, and have a, a girl right there with them, or watch an action movie and have a girl right there with them, you know, cheering on for the blood and gore and the violence. Okay, who doesn't want that? Who really does not want that? So, when it comes down to something like that, you know, it's the same thing for a gamer. Okay, I mean, it, it, who doesn't want a girl that's going to sit down with them and play Call of Duty? You know, and it get a better KD than you do. I mean, or play uh, Halo and get a better quick KD than you do. I mean, who doesn't want that? That's like a person's dream. That's like a, a dream girl. And don't get me wrong. I, I know there's female gamers out there. I'm just saying to get a gamer girl is very complicated. You know, if you didn't read it, I'm going to sum, summarize this for you, okay? Basically, to get a gamer girl, you need two things. Luck or patience, right? Luck is basically where... The gamer girl uh, basically doesn't have anybody, never dated anybody, or hasn't really been. No, definitely we can't play with you right now. I'm talking to the people, I'm talking to the army of DDW. So, you know, a gamer girl is basically when it comes down to luck. All right, it's really hard to get one because you need extreme luck. You need somebody that's single, 
which if once a guy finds out a girl's a gamer, she's she's caught for life. I mean, nobody's gonna let that go. That's like the rare jewel. That's like the fountain of youth, man. I mean, that's impossible to find her. If you find her, you should never let her go. And most gamers know that, so you know that's why gamer girls are really ever single. So you know that's like the fountain of youth. You know, so come on, man. It's, it's impossible to find. If you find it, you need luck. And if you do find it, you need patience because. Think about it, the guy to girl ratio in any game, or just in games in general, is like 10 to 1, okay? I mean, it's changing very slowly, but it is changing, you know, um, but it's still, again, slow, so it's 10 to 1. You're not really going to find that. Juggernaut, catch it, catch it, catch it in the nutsack. Oh, longest shot. Uno. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, the ratio is horrible, so you're, you're competing on, on a, on a far scale, to where it's gonna be very, very extremely difficult to get her to notice you. How did they get two goddamn juggernauts? Cut! What the fuck? Bro? So, you know, it's, it's it's a hard scale to even find it. You know, I mean, so you gotta understand, you're, you're playing with fire, guys. I mean, with the minute you find a girl and you're like, hey, oh, I really like her. You know, she's really cool and and she plays games. That's great and she's hot. Oh wow, man! I mean, that, that's perfect ten right there for me. The minute you go on her friends list, all of them are fucking guys, you know. Or if you just meet her in the street, every guy that's in her friend circle is trying to get with that. You know, every guy is trying to impress her. Every guy is talking to her. You're never gonna have time alone with her. Let's say it is on Xbox Live or you know PlayStation Network, whatever you're playing, um, on a computer. I mean, either way, all right. Everybody's gonna be talking to her. You're never gonna get time alone. How can you stand out from everybody else? I mean, think about it. If you already have a dull personality because you're like fucking suck, you know what I mean? Or if you do, if you do have a great personality, I mean, but you know, you're on a waiting list, bro. I mean, you gotta you gotta wait your turn. She got 20 other guys sending her friend request every single day. I mean, it's not like a girl in the street to where you can talk to her and she's gonna stop and talk to you. I mean, even if it is, I mean, like I said, her friend circle is gonna be packed. You have to stand out. You need a lot of persistence because even if you do stand out, it's gonna still be extremely hard for for her to talk to you. I mean, it's gonna be really, really difficult because think about it. Every guy is gonna be. Every, every guy knows the funny to get the honey. So if he's cracking jokes with her and she's laughing, ah, and then you crack jokes, ha ah, ha ha. I mean, it's really no difference. I mean, you're doing the same thing he's doing. Every every guy is running the same game. We all use the same formula. So. You know, unless she's one of those girls that for some reason likes you or you really hit it off. I mean, you got to wait your turn and pray, pray that she sees something special in you. You got to go, hey, Buddha, God, Allah, whoever, bro. I mean, please give me the luck to stand out here because every guy is doing the same thing. And unless I'm really good with my game, I I I'm probably taking a shot in the dark here. You know, I mean... Let's just be honest, guys. That's just the way it is. And it's not low self-esteem or anything like that that I'm, I'm telling you guys. No, I'm being completely honest with you. You got to understand. I mean, every guy is running the same formula. Every guy is running the same playbook. I mean, come on. So, it's, you know, it's, it's very rare. It's rare that you're going to find that crown jewel that is actually going to like you back. You know, I mean, at least you need luck with persistence. Because even if you do run the same formula as everybody else, you can't get with it. You know, you, but you need that persistence. You really do. Um, you need to keep trying and trying and trying and show her how serious you are. You know? So, that's what I was saying. That's the little summary of all of it. So, there you guys go. Uh, and quickly, I want to address this little sofa bullshit, alright? Fuck sofa, alright? Wash yourself with soap, get that dirt off, whatever the fuck you want to do. You know, if you need that, that soap, uh... Keep getting that so do what you gotta do, but guess what? Don't fucking push that shit on us, alright? Piracy is, yeah, it's fucking illegal, but guess what? These guys are making millions of fucking dollars, you know what I mean? I'm not preaching, you know, it's still other people's shit and other people's work. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying my voice in the matter is this. Don't fuck over the rest of the internet community because some motherfuckers want to download Justin Bieber's album for free. Fuck you, alright? That motherfucker's making millions of dollars anyway. He can take a goddamn hit. Guess what? It's like that South Park episode. He may not be making that little yacht, but he could get a goddamn speedboat. Fuck that. I can't even get it on this goddamn speedboat. I get seasick. Fuck that shit. Alright? No fucking way in hell that we gotta pay for other people's fucking bullshit. Alright? There's other ways, shape, and form to actually 
you know, uh, stop piracy? How about, you know, better security programs? How about investing some money in that shit instead of spending money on fucking oil and wars that we don't need? How about that one, right? So fuck that shit. You know, YouTube and everything's gonna get censored because of other people's fucking bullshit, because the government don't know what the fuck they do. So as always, they wanna put fucking put the goddamn abortion button on shit. That's the way it is. Video's getting dark right here, guys, because of the fact that uh, YouTube, as always, is giving me some fucking issues. But, you know, my point is, come on out. It's the way the it's the way the world works. The world is gonna is gonna be a little complicated. It's gonna be a little difficult for a while. You know, I mean, find other ways instead of just saying, all right, well, this is not working, so let's just fucking get rid of it. That's America's problem. With fucking everything. So things are not going the way we are, the way the way we want. They're not the way we are. So guess what? We're gonna fucking abort that shit. Fuck that. You know, fight Sopa. You know, Athene and and a couple other YouTubers are actually doing their part to actually help out a bit. So you know, follow them. And, and help them and let's all take a stand against this, alright? So till then game